promise I'm not just saying that because it's pretty. <laughs> really, bro? That's your go-to? Oh, really? Bro, you're fumbling! Who's fumbling oh, this bag? You nasty. What's up, Nasty Cast? It's your man behind the cam, aka Director, here with another Ruby Reaction, Volume 4, Chapter 6, Tipping Point. In the last reaction, we saw Blake and Son reach Menagerie and have a beautiful, soulful reunion with her parents. Her mother, who's kind of thick and kind of cute, I like that she's a cat too, and her daddy, who's a big brolic, former leader of the White Fang and also happens to be the mayor of Menagerie. Uh, meeting them was interesting, but it was more so the things that happened in those in that first meeting. Uh, he was supposed to have a meeting, Blake's father, that is, with the White Fang, because the White Fang, of course, are based in Menagerie, right? And they came up and they're trying to act all holier than now. Oh, hello, former leader. We're here on behalf to let you know that some things have happened overseas that we feel informed to tell you about. Listen, motherfucker, we know y'all out here trapping. We know you trapping, son. And they were trying to put off a huge front for uh, trying to be like, oh, that's not who we are. We're about peace. They're just they're just a, fr a faction over there, a faction of extremists. And of course, as they're walking away, they're like, should we tell Brother Adam? Of course, you're going to go snitch and tell Brother Adam. So now we know the white thing isn't just like some good with a little bit of bad. They all bad. They all bad as hell. All bad as hell. And I really hope that uh, Blake's family doesn't get swept up into this whole thing. Although, it looks like they're about to. I would not be surprised they send assassins within the next, I don't know, chapter or two. We'll see. Uh, with that being said, uh, I'm ready to get back into this. I want to see what's going to happen. So, if you made this far and you haven't already, go ahead and drop a sub on the channel. Drop a like on the video. Comment down below what's your favorite part of this volume so far. If you want to catch me, I'm live on Twitch every Monday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget to hit the bell for post notifications because we do post content weekly on the channel and you don't want to miss out. Check the top pinned comment in the description below for all my socials, including the Reddit, the Discord, and of course the Patreon where you can find uncut, unreleased anime reactions. Ruby, Vine 4, Chapter 6, Tipping Point Reaction coming up next. Hey, just a quick thank you to all the subs on the channel. You members of the Nasty Cast are the driving force that makes all this possible. Catch Director Nasty on Reddit, Patreon, and all other socials in the description below with links. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. I like the beginning of this song a lot, honestly. Hey, hey, hey. This guy, I want him to die. Oh my God. I just realized she looks like she's part grim, bro. Like a couple days. Right, but how long? Maybe like two weeks? What? Okay, fine. Three or something. But whatever. 
Well, at least she knows. Damn, bro. No, this is a unfinished area. That's not damage. Abandoned? I feel like it's not even finished, right? Am I tripping? Spill, fam. So many cautionary tales. No! You're a rich kid from Minstrel? I never would have guessed that. Grim. Always these goddamn Grim, bro. Uh-oh. Rightfully so, fam. Poor Ren. Somebody talk to him. Oh, she getting it, boy. Yo, if she's actually singing this song, her daddy ain't gonna be happy, fam. Oh, that was a song. Oh. Yo, Jacques. Jacques is like, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, see, I told you. Yo, Jacques is like, yeah, I'm up with that ass, bro. Oh. Yo, who the Android 18 looking girl? Oh, these shotties look fancy. But everybody here is wearing gray. Y'all boring, guys. Thirsty. Where are you going? I'm just a little thirsty. 
every house we have too. Oh, yeah. I'll be right back. Yo, this man was not gonna let her go. Look at him. But companies like yours can do an enormous job. I'm sorry, I assumed that was it. Sounds like I'm the good guy again. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck up. <laughs> I ain't really don't mess with him, man. You two match. Yes, it's a lovely pink suit. So, that is my attempt at romance. How am I doing so far? Not that great. Henry Marigold? Why, Steve. <laughs> I know. I saw your performance. Obviously. Leave her alone. You were wonderful. And I promise I'm not just saying that because you're pretty. <sighs> really, bro? That's your go-to? So, you thinking about buying it? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's kind of pricey for a pink suit. Money. Oh, really? Bruh, you're fumbling! You're fumbling! Oh my god, he's fumbling this bag. He's absolutely fumbling this bag, bro. And it was for the Marie Company. Oh, of course. So, what? Is it another mantle fundraiser or something? Get out. What? Get out, or I will have security escort you. Oh, so he is party crashing. Whatever. Oh, Roger. Roger, you can't do this. Yo, relax, fam. Oh, Weiss had enough, fam. You don't have a clue. None of you do. Oh, please, Liz. You're all just standing around talking about nothing. Worrying about your hair, your money, your stupid problems. <laughs> Let him know! Oh shit! And what? I never thought I'd be happy to see this man, boy. What is he waiting for? He's insane. He should be locked up. She's the only one making sense around here. And what's like, yo? Fuck y'all, bro. Let's go to party, Jacques. Jacques. Yo, look at him walking out with his thing. Yo, I see you, fam. Yo, I know what's coming around for me, man. I know what's coming around for me. As long as he'll talk to Glinda, we good. Stop talking to Glinda, we good, fam. <laughs> Yo, so many weapons just came out at once. Oh, this guy's already here?
Creepy, but okay. What did she go in for? Huh. I'll take it. You're not going to let me do that. Yeah, it's never good when the bad guy says good. John. Ooh, my God. He literally had to shoot him to save him, bro. Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, yeah. I know why she did it. That wasn't for you, fam. That was for her. Yo, boop his ass to hell. A fitting boop. Did not see that coming. Bruh, how are y'all getting out? I don't know. This guy is literally a trained assassin. I shouldn't be surprised. Oh, damn. Her aura is actually taking mad damage. Ooh. Come on, Crow! Come on, you gotta get there, fam. Oh, what a gangster! He's like, I ain't gonna look at you, son! <sighs> Bruh. Bruh. Okay, so that was volume four, chapter six, tipping point. And it sure as hell was. Yo, so first things first, why started by just completely embarrassing her daddy with that song? Personally, I love the song. It's what he gets. Fuck you, Jacques. There, I said it. Uh, following that, uh, everybody, all these haughty, high and tight, rich people talking about, oh, yeah, they're annoying as hell. And then Jacques, oh, it sounds like I'm the hero again. Yo, know, this guy, I really don't like him. I really, really don't. I don't know if y'all figured it out or not. I really don't fuck with Weiss's dad. I don't, just don't. Ironwood, on the other hand, yo, I'm back on Team Ironwood. As long as he's not talking to Glenda, we cool, bro. Because first off, he saved Weiss's ass. Because that fucking Tuscan weight raider, that Warthog Grim was definitely going to fuck her up. But that's, that's honestly, I wouldn't have been mad. I wouldn't have been mad. Bye-bye, trophy wife. On the other side of things, uh, we saw Ruby and crew. Uh, Ruby thought this was going to be a short journey. She thought it was all shits and giggles. She's learning, yo, it's trill out here in these streets. And she almost learned the wrong way. They finally got jumped by this assassin from the League of Villains. That's what I'm calling for right now. And yo, I did not expect him to be a Faunus, let alone a Scorpion Faunus. I thought that was fire. I'm still a little bit upset that boop that Nora gave him didn't do at least some damage. He like completely blocked it, but it's fine. We're not gonna harp on it. 
Best girl did the best she could. I'm not gonna lie. When Ruby shot that bullet and it missed him, for a very split second, I was like, no, Ruby, you're gonna hurt Nora. And I saw the electrical thing sparkle. And I was like, oh no, it's game time, baby. It would have been a good move. It would have been dead on a good move, but he's a faunus, who knew? And then Crow, oh my God, the timing on this man. He got there in the nick of time and he stopped that like a gangster. He wasn't even looking. He says, can him hot. It was hot. It was fire. Oh, man. I loved it. I loved every second of it. It was dope. Uh, yeah, so that was chapter six. And just like most animes, yo, when you hit the middle, that chapter six, that like the episode six of a season, that's when things really start kicking up. And that's what we got. And we're going to see what happens in the rest. So without further ado, if you made it this far and you haven't already for some reason, drop a sub on the channel, drop a like on the video. We turn out reactions all week on the channel. So make sure you hit the bell for post notifications. If you want to catch me live, I'm live on Twitch every Monday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Check the top pinned comment for all my socials and Discord, the Reddit, and of course the Patreon where you can find uncut, unreleased anime reactions. I'm your man behind the cam, and as always, stay nasty, y'all. You nasty.